guys, it's me, Miss Bethany, back with another story time. And there's Dixie, just chilling, ready for our stories too. So I have two stories. I have Toad on the Road, and I have Cake. So let's start off with Cake. Cake had just received an exciting invitation. He'd never been to a party before, so he didn't know what to expect. But he was sure about one thing, he wanted to look his best. Fish didn't know what Cake should wear. He'd never been to a party either. Hmm, said Fish. Nope, I don't think so. What about a hat, suggested Fish. Good thinking, said Cake. So off Cake went to buy a hat. Cake tried on lots of hats in the shop, but none of them were quite right. Is it for a special occasion? Asked the shop assistant. A wedding, perhaps? No, said Cake, a party. Oh, said the shop assistant. In that case, I have just the thing. And he disappeared out of the back. Here you go, sir, said the shop assistant. You'll be irresistible in this. Thank you very much, said Cake. He couldn't wait to get home and show Fish his new hat. Are you ready? Kate called from his bedroom. Ta-da! You've done it, shouted Fish. Cake was soon on his way to the party, dressed in his new hat. Deedly dee, deedly dum, I'm off to a party to have some fun. Cake was a bit nervous when he arrived, but when everyone saw him, they cheered. Cake's here! A party isn't a party without cake, they said, and in he went. Cake was having so much fun at the party. There was dancing and lots of games, but then the singing started. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Cake was getting a bad feeling about this. Oh, crumbs! Suddenly, there was a gust of wind and everything went black. Then there was a smell of raspberries and Cake felt a wibbly wobbly hand grab hold of his. And a wibbly wobbly voice said, Quick! Run for it, Cake! The end. So that was the end of our first story. Our second story is Toad on the Road. Toad on the Road. Toad on the road. Oh no, oh no, there's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? Oh yikes, oh yikes, it's a bear on a bike. Everyone shout, look out, look out. Skid, screech, bam. Hey, little toad, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to stay. Vamos, skedaddle, without delay. What do you think your mama would say? Toad on the road, toad on the road. Oh no, oh no, there's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? My stars, my stars. It's a 
croc in a car. Everyone shout. Look out, look out. Skid, screech, bam. Hey, little toad, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. Vamos, skedaddle, without delay. What do you think your mama would say? Toad on the road, toad on the road. Oh no, oh no, there's a toad on the road. Who is that coming down the road? Oh man, oh man, it's a... A vole in a van. Everyone shout, look out, look out. <clears throat> Skid, screech, bam. Hey, little toad, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. Vamoose, skedaddle, without delay. What do you think your mama would say? Toad on the road, toad on the road. Oh, no, oh, no, there's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? Good luck, good luck, it's a... Toad in a truck. And what does she say? Hey, little love, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. Vamoose, skedaddle, without delay. And that is what your mama would say. The end. So that was the end of our two stories. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Go out, get some exercise, go on your trampolines, go take a walk, ride on your bikes. And as always, you guys are kind, you are important, and you are very, very loved. Bye, guys.